I can't take this seriously. I'm sorry. This game is so stupid. I have every achievement in every Call of Duty. So naturally, when November rolled around, it was time to get all the achievements in Modern Warfare 2's DLC, Modern Warfare 3. <laughs> I'm not joking. The achievement list is the same. They just slapped a thousand G on Modern Warfare 2 and changed the name to Call of Duty. <laughs> okay, Call of Duty. Well, at least there's zombies this time, right? <laughs> This is one of many game franchises I will get every achievement and or trophy in, so make sure you stick around. Now, off with Modern Warfare 3. All three modes have achievements in this game, with the worst offender being a zombie achievement for getting 50,000 kills. But I won't get that till later. I booted up early access campaign on the first stream, feeling optimistic. Look, no matter what, I'm gonna enjoy this. I'm not going to waste any time, so I am, of course, playing the campaign on Veteran. I killed 12 enemies, descending down a rope, and got my first achievement. Achievement unlocked. Death row, baby. You make it to the bottom of the prison just to find out that you're actually rescuing Makarov. You then find out that there are no consequences to death in prior games. And now it's time for the first open combat mission. These are campaign missions set in chunks of the Warzone map, and honestly, they're probably more fun than the linear campaign missions. And that's not saying a lot because some of these campaign missions are dog water. I died a few times on this mission, but it wasn't anything crazy. But guess what? The next mission was another open combat mission. <laughs> Entertainment will be randomly generated. In this level, I actually came across my first difficult part. Bro, ain't no way, man. There's literally nowhere to go! However, I didn't get stuck, I just grabbed a riot shield and sat in the corner. I thought the next mission was gonna be an epic sniper mission with Price, and it was for about five minutes. Oh, we're all gonna jump them at the same time, that's the plan, boys. And wouldn't you know it, in a Modern Warfare campaign, they launched missiles. <laughs> Here comes the sun. The multiplayer finally released, giving me a break from the campaign. And even though there's no achievement, I grinded out all 36 weapons and got the interstellar camo. Wow! And we add Interstellar, baby. I figured if I was gonna have to grind out 50,000 zombie kills, might as well have a good gun to look at. Along the way, I reached level 55, giving me the only achievement in multiplayer. Hey, let's go! Achievement log, baby! 100 dreams! I'm not gonna lie, the multiplayer in this game is the best since Cold War. One out of three game modes, done. Now it was time to boot up my first game of Zombies. In my first game of Zombies, I was not overly impressed. You only get 45 minutes to complete contracts in Xville. There are three different tiered zones on the map, each one harder than the last. And it costs a lot of money and time to pack a punch. My thought was that the time limit is stupid and that I was never going to be able to reach tier 3. So I Xville my first game and got my first zombie achievement. <laughs> I now had an insured weapon. This just means I could choose that gun to bring into the next game. And when I killed 500 zombies for using that weapon, I got another achievement. I just kept playing zombies for the achievements and I think I was starting to really enjoy it. I then completed 20 contracts. Not even 10 minutes later in that same game, I thought I was getting a super rare achievement by reviving a downed player from another squad. You will see later on in this video that is not rare at all. Which brings me to the turning point in zombies. This game mode went from average to fun to I really love this zombie. And it all started when I joined a random game on Xbox Live. I went from scrounging for purple items to these people dropping legendary items for me at the start of the game. <laughs> We ran red zone right away. Because of this, I got an achievement for completing five contracts in the red zone in a single game. Because of those contracts completed, I was able to buy all nine perks. But then these guys did something that I had no idea existed. They took me to a new area called the Dark Aether. In this place, you can get crazy schematics like the Aether Blade, which is a recharging throwing knife that insta-kills three zombies, the Golden Armor Plate, which regenerates armor on its own, and the Dog Bone, which spawns in a level three dog that revives you. Back in like December of Modern Warfare 3, there was a glitch where if you killed yourself in the Dark Aether and got revived by a teammate, your tombstone with everything you had would show up the next game and utilizing Tombstone one time gives you an achievement. I exploited this way more than I should have. Offer me money, offer me power. Uh, Joker, you're cheating the game. You didn't play it legit. Yes, I did. <laughs> My time of struggling with zombies was over. I don't 
Okay. Now that I was stacked, I was able to run the Dark Aether for my sister and my dad, getting them the schematics. I know you're probably wondering, yes, my 65-year-old dad is an outstanding gamer, and if you want proof, both my sister and dad have Borealis. That means they got every camo on 36 weapons and zombies. Also, in this game, I use my dog bone schematic and pet my dog to give me an achievement. Now it was time to round up the rest of my clan for the Red Worm boss fight. This boss fight is in the gas, you have to constantly recharge your gas mask. Now there's an achievement for killing Orcus in a six man squad, which is what this worm is called. At least that's what I thought, but it turns out this is the third of three worms. But I'll come back to that. After all that zombie playing, I was only at 20,000 kills. So let's go back and finish the campaign now. <laughs> You know who I've always wanted to play as in a Call of Duty campaign? Laswell. You know, she's always just been so appealing to me. <laughs> and this mission is short, but it's also one of the dumbest missions I've ever played in a Call of Duty campaign. And I have the authority to say that because I've played them all. If you, like, look at a guard the wrong way, he'll shoot you. And you have to time knocking out this other guard perfectly or else you'll get shot. All for them to reveal Yuri like it's gonna make up for something. But surely they can't screw up no Russian, right? <laughs> they tell you that you look like a terrorist. <laughs> Like All I'm learning from this mission is that in the Modern Warfare 3 universe, Russians are racist. So the next mission is also a absolute joke. The mission wants you to stealthily kill these guys and go grab the recon pieces, but the mission doesn't allow it. If you stealthily kill five guys, reinforcement trucks will just pull up. There's literally no window to grab the intel pieces. Of course, they're all armored. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way an entire clip doesn't break armor. The only way I found to beat this part was by sitting and camping in the bathroom until you believed that there were no reinforcements. You quickly run out, grab the intel, and run back in. The next mission is a flashback prequel mission that's literally not even worth talking about. Never mind that Price didn't kill Makarov all the way back here. I think people try and argue that that's what made Price the way he is. Big lump of C4, pack right up his fungia. Boom. Clara everywhere. I finally reached a good campaign mission. Here you just infiltrate a safe house. It's an open combat mission, but it's honestly a great time. Same goes for the next open combat mission where you get to climb a skyscraper and take multiple routes. And now a very average mission. Starting underwater is pretty cool. You're trying to get your little leg out. No more, little boy. But oh my gosh, it's like this game is intentionally making bad decisions. There are multiple snipers in snow ghillie suits, but you have to get headshots on them because they're armored, which wouldn't be a problem, but this game gives you the worst possible scope for this. They give you this tr they give you this trashy- no, let's assess this, okay? Because I want to make sure I'm not crazy here. They give you an ACOG scope with thermal in snow to where the snipers have thermoactive gear where you can't detect them through the thermal. The snipers insta-shot you. Look, look at this guy. You see how hard he is to see? Uh, all the way over here. All the way over here. Bro, this is wild. So my strategy turned into run for the hills. The next mission gave me the achievement for customizing a loadout in every open combat mission. Oh my gosh, achievement. Right after that, I jumped off the dam and parachuted 150 meters, giving me another. Achievement unlocked, frequent flyer. This mission is really difficult, but it's honestly really fair. You have to stealthily defuse bombs while so many enemies are around you. And it's fun, the last fun mission of this campaign. <laughs> and if you defuse the bomb on the truck while the truck is moving, you get another achievement. Achievement unlocked, hitchhiker. Next is another AC-130 mission in another Modern Warfare game. I am so sick of AC-130 missions. They're not even fun anymore. You wanna see me do it again? I then killed one guy with an AC-130 missile. Achievement unlocked. Your tax dollars at work. That's funny. And now it's time for the absolute crap show that is the last mission. When you get to the end of the mission, you're defusing bombs. And words cannot describe how stupid this scene is. Oh, he's out. No. I can't play right now. Don't tell me Sumter's nonchalant died like that. <sighs> what you say? What were you two doing? Finally, the worst Call of Duty campaign is over, giving me the achievements for beating the campaign on normal and veteran. Achievement unlocked, beat the campaign on veteran. Now there were a lot of miscellaneous achievements I needed to clean up in the campaign, such as parachuting off the crane to the roof. Hey, let's go. Using five different armaments in an open combat mission. Achievement unlocked. Disabling a sentry gun with a shock stick. Boom. Achievement unlocked. On the second open combat mission, you have to destroy three helicopters, and it wants you to do it three different ways. 
All right, boom, baby. Using the spotter to tag 60 enemies. Yay, we got another achievement. Driving a car with a sentry gun on it and getting five kills. There we go, baby. Let's go, dude, we're killing it. Destroying all the cars in the safe house. Oh, that was it? Okay. The next one's really fun, even though it's not hard. And that's for reaching the roof of the high rise in under 45 seconds. I'm running out of time. Come on. I gotta be over 45 seconds already. Okay, we got it. Let's go, baby. Throwing and hitting an enemy with a flammable canister. Then shooting the canister to kill him. Boom! Shoot me unlocked. Hey, catch. The collectibles in this game are scattered through the open combat missions, such as weapons and armor upgrades, and if you collect all of them, you'll get three different achievements. Boom! All right. There's the achievement. I was almost done with this campaign forever with only five miscellaneous achievements left. The first one was for killing 10 people while using a zip line. There we go. Oh, baby, let's go. The next one was so annoying. You literally have to shoot a moving helicopter out of the air with a mortar strike. <laughs> when you call in a mortar strike, the chopper moves almost every single time, so the mortar strike completely misses. He's bobbing. Support now. Copy. Clear the area. Support inbound. <laughs> Please, please. Oh! <laughs> it's over. It's over. Thank goodness, me. The next one was easy, and that's for getting two kills and one bullet five times on the sniper level. Oh. Oh. Remember that horrible Laswell mission? I had to do it again in under 90 seconds. And I somehow got the achievement even though I was detected. There. I don't care. I don't care. I'll take it. I love that I just got that. You know what? It's so broken that it's glitched and I don't give a fudge. You have to shoot a gun out of the air on the stadium mission. Achievement unlocked. One left. And the last campaign achievement was for getting revenge on the stupid snipers in the snow level. Oh, there we go. Achievement unlocked. Snow Angel. Two out of three game modes, done. At this point, I was near immortal in zombies. I was able to help people in my Discord get schematics, but I did not realize. I did not understand the absolute grind that was in front of me. Along the way, I got two achievements. One for killing a warlord. You do this by getting key cards and then going to the main military base. The second one is for running over a hundred zombies. Oh. Hey, it's done. Let's go. That was easy. Now the zombies has missions that you can do in each game. And if I were to take the time and talk about each mission, I would have to dive into a whole new video for you. This can be anything from using different abilities to taking out a convoy with a precision airstrike. I would have been so bored doing these missions if it wasn't for my dad who did most of them with me. At the end of each act, you go to different areas and do a few missions to get a cutscene. And that worm we talked about earlier, well, Orcus was hiding behind act three. So me, my dad, and my my friend AB went to take him out, finally giving me the achievement for completing Act 3. Now me and the Discord had to go back and kill Orcus again in a six-man squad for the next achievement. This is super annoying considering you can only have three people in a squad when you load into a game for some stupid reason. What, don't jump off. Hey, love, it. What, love it, love it, no, come back, love it, love it, come back. <laughs> I, I wrote a blog post a while ago about why I hate video games because this is what it does. It appeals to like the male fantasy. All right, everybody get ready. A giant worm is about to come out, shoot its weak spots. Finish Orcus, baby. Finish Orcus. Achieve it unlock, baby. Now, before I go into the last achievement for getting 50,000 kills, I want to make sure I thank the new members of my channel since I just got monetized. Thank you all so much for supporting my dreams. It really means a lot to me. Now, the sad part about this next achievement is that I can't convey to you how long this took me, but the strategy was to sit in an exfil and kill zombies for 45 minutes. The only problem is, is I had to do that about 35 times. Joker, we all know why you bought that new skin so you could look at her. Oh, no, I do not. And don't you ever say I did. All joking aside, after grinding for about two months, I was within 5% and I finally got 50,000 kills on Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. Crap, dude. I Achievement unlocked! Slaughterhouse! Oh my gosh, let's go, baby! Gotta get on this chopper and never look back. Oh, Five it's months. over, dude. MW3 is done. That's all for today. Come back again tomorrow.